Delight to everyone. Hope you are having an amazing day. This is Jamyang and welcome back to my channel. This time I'm going to show you whole documentary about how Tibetan villages in front of Mount Everest celebrate Tibetan New Year. And with this awesome chance, I will show you all the process of its preparation. And I'm also looking forward to see whether the New Year celebration in Himalaya regions is same to my hometown. So today is a Guduk, and Guduk is a part of a Losar Tibetan New Year festival ceremonies to clean or remove the past years inauspicious and prepare for an auspicious and fruitful new year. The name present nine ingredients noodle soup such as wheat flour, radish peas, wild ginseng or sweet potatoes and yak or cow meat and dry cheese are used in gudu noodle. And it is a traditional Tibetan noodle soup called and the vegetables are added for a flavorful broth. What makes it special is a large dove bowl containing an object with its symbol which refers to a person's character. For example, if a person gets sold, means he or she is a lazy person. And if someone gets black charcoal, means black mind or bad mind. And if someone gets wool, means the person is very kind heart. And if anyone gets peace, means this person is not a reliable person. And when eating the noodles, everyone must leave a little remaining and in the end put all the remaining noodle in a broken pot with the fireworks and throw it away to a crossroad that means send away all the obstacles and bad luck of the family in that year. Alright then, let's mm. celebrate Tibetan New Year near Everest on top of the world. This is Dundrup, 67 years old, and he started the day by praying to the Buddha and wishing his family a safe return home to celebrate the Tibetan New Year. And this is Doma, 48 years old, a housewife in the family. Currently, they have four people living here. And when everyone wakes up, Dolma burns yak dung to make the room more comfortable and warm because the temperature here in the morning is now minus 18 degrees.
Basically, today is about purifying their homes and bodies of existing negatives, obstacles, uncleanliness and sickness. Today is the day of the year when they clean like crazy and in Western cultures this would be spring cleaning but the Tibetans do it just before New Year. No matter what holiday is celebrated, Roma likes to complete her household chores such as feeding, milking, washing and cooking. And they make a living by farming, growing barley, raising 68 sheep and 8 cows and their annual income is about 200,000 yuan. In fact, the family receives about 10,000 yuan a month from the siblings I think they live well here. Oh, by the way, she is Doma's mother, Hamo. She is 70 years old, and do you know, most of the daily life of the older generation in Tibet is to pray for all living beings every day. And after milking, Dolma prepare fresh cow milk and thumpa, the roasted barley, for breakfast. <laughs> and Tuntup asked Dolma to make a butter tea. Finally, they got time for breakfast.
And Dolma is now collecting whole cow dung, which is commonly used as fuel for cooking and heating in many Tibetan villages. It is also used as fertilizer for crops and as a building materials for walls and floors. Additionally, cow dung is believed to have purifying prosperities and is also used in many religious rituals. Tundrup is now sewing a New Year prayer flag, a colorful rectangular flag inscribed with prayers and mantras. These flags are common in Tibetan Buddhism, where hanging outdoor is believed to bring good luck and spread positive energy. Oh, Tashi finally woke up. He must have had lots of beer last night. He is 49 years old. Dolma's husband and the eldest son of this family. Now he is going to start cooking because he just got call from his brothers saying they will be home very soon. Minutes turned into hours as the family waited, chatted and reminisced about past New Year's celebrations. Finally, the sounds of the car door closing and the voice echoing outside the car announced the arrival of relatives. Their arms were filled with gifts and their faces were filled with smiles. They gathered together, hugged and kissed each other and toasted to a new year filled with love, happiness and togetherness. And after lunch, they will start drinking beer and then later they will play the dice game which we call Sho in Tibetan language. Most of the afternoon they will spend their time drinking beer and playing Sho game. And Sho is a traditional competitive game in Tibet that is still very common today. Its name simply means dice in Tibetan. This game is often played at festive occasions and gatherings in Tibet and is a very fun way to pass the time and socialize with friends and family. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Dolma now begins to prepare the guduk. Guduk is basically a common style of noodle soup which we call guduk only when it is eaten along with some special ingredients and elements on the eve of Tibetan New Year. Tibetans eat guduk on Tibetan New Year Eve because it is a traditional dish that is believed to bring good luck and prosperity for the upcoming year. Guduk is a special soup made with nine ingredients, symbolizing the unity of family and community. It is also believed to cleanse the body and soul, preparing for a fresh start in the new year. Eating Guduk is a way for Tibetans to celebrate and honor their culture, heritage and traditions during New Year festivities. <laughs> Looks like Tundrup is so busy after making his lu. So the lu is a little man shape, typically fashioned out of thumper and water. This effigy comes to represent all that is undesired in the household. It is sometimes in English referred to as a scapegoat. Looks like finally this interesting guduk noodle soup is ready and I'm so excited and wonder how it tastes like and do you know into each bowl of soup will be added one extra large dog bowl that contains inside a small piece of various objects like coal or wool. The dog bowl is round extra large to distinguish it from the normal noodles in the soup so you won't eat them by mistake. These objects are jokingly meant to relate to the character of the person who gets it. Some are positive and some are decidedly negative. We might think of them lightly as comments about our nature or as predictions or fortunes about the year ahead. And let's see what I got. And I got the black wool, which means I'm a very, very angry man. <laughs> <laughs> and when everyone has finished their noodle, Tundu pass out a piece of dough to everyone. Each person squeezes the dough to leave your handprints on it. We then wave or press the dough over any part of the body that may be hurt, sick, damaged or weak, hoping to drive away the unhealthy symptoms. <laughs> And after the ceremony, Dorma will first make a way for the evil. And according to tradition, they light small torches with bundle of straw and then go through each room of the house shouting Tushoma, which means come out to everything evil spirits. <laughs> After we have gone through the whole house, someone will carry the torch plus the dish with the statue outside to a nearby intersection. 
Those who do this must be careful not to look back toward the house, as the idea is that we are carrying the bad spirits out to the intersection so that they will get confused and not know how to get back to our homes. Once the loo or statue is out of your house and the bad spirits are lost outside, everyone can enjoy the healthy, clean home and turn our attention now to creating the conditions for a healthy and prosperous new year. And now it's time to try the sheep head. Bye-bye! <laughs> <laughs>